Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to the Toy Amigos YouTube channel. This is Cheney180, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Jada Toys Street Fighter 2 Ryu. Holy moly, the moment is finally here. Finally, I have the opportunity to get this guy in hand, and I must say I am impressed. I like what's going on. I really love the, the head sculpt and the paint applications here on the face. You got that sweet, classic look there. As you can see, we've got some texturing along the gi here. We've got soft plastic gi, so it will uh, hopefully not prohibit articulation. We've got some texturing on his, uh, with his gloves, I guess, or I'm not sure what to call those. Look at me. I'm a rookie. What can I say? we got the toes there. Looking at the back here. Nice soft plastic here for his uh, bandana, which is nice. <clears throat> but let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories. All right, so Ryu comes with this head sculpt here, which is very nice. Looks very good. Comes with two fists, as you can see here. You also get an extra set of hands right here. And you can see the texturing on there as well. Looks very nice. You get a extra angry head sculpt here. Which looks pretty good. Also with the soft bandana piece there. And we get a uh, cool little stand here. And a Hadouken effect. It just plugs right into there like that. And I love the translucent plastic on this. And plus you can see the hands in there in the effect, which is really cool. I like how it's not foggy. It's nice and clear. You can see right through it. Looks really, really nice. All right, let's go ahead and get into articulation here. Um, there's a couple things we got to go over. Uh, the gi does come off up here, but I'm going to go ahead and go through articulation with the gi on and then I'm going to take it off and we will go through articulation on that. So the head is like Fei Long. He comes with a barbell here and he's got a ball joint at the bottom of the neck. So we pop that on. He looks up about that high, down about that far. You've got side to side. You can turn his head. No issues there. He can move all around. He's got a butterfly joint in here which enables him to move back that far forward that far as we can see and then we've got a joint here and a joint here to enable crunching that far and back that far now the legs come out that far which is nice and go back pretty decent and you can bring his leg all the way up to his back almost. Um, and then you can actually get his leg up pretty far as well. Now you've got a thigh swivel here. you got a double hinged knee right there. You've got a, uh, a shin swivel right here, which is hidden up underneath his pant leg there. You've got a hinge in the ankle and an ankle pivot here, which is nice, as you can see there. And then the way this gi comes off is you can uh, undo that there like that, and then pull that off and that. This will stay in here, but you can pull this off, and as you can see, it's a nice soft plastic there. So as you can see, he's got plenty of motion there and back. So plenty of room to uh, move, if you will, with the gi off, if you wish. All right, so we got the gi back on here. I've got him in a fairly decent Hadouken pose here with the effect piece, which looks good. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot get the uh, the palms to touch, but you can get fairly close. I mean, you can 
it, it's close and I think it might be the gi hindering it but it's not a deal breaker for me I think it looks good still all right I just want to go over a couple of the uh you know signature poses here you can get a pretty decent high kick you can get him into his signature uppercut there which is cool and then you can even do the uh hurricane kick here and this gi it kind of flops around a little bit and whatnot here and there but overall it looks really good just a couple things i wanted to touch on there all right ryu stands right around He's a little bit under six inches, if I'm not mistaken, or right around there. So he's he's right at six inches. All right, let's do some comparisons here. Here we've got Fei Long. Here we've got Ryu. As you can see, they're right around the same height. All right, let's go on a little trip here. We've got the uh, the old old tried and true Soda Street Fighter Ryu here. As you can tell, big difference. We've come a long way. Next up, we have the uh, Playmates uh, Ryu from the TMNT Street Fighter Crossover 2 packs. As you can see, he looks very different. He has about half of the articulation that the Jada one does. Then we have the uh, the Lightning Collection Ryu here. In the, I believe it was Off the Grid or Shattered Grid. I don't remember the game. I, I never played it, but here you have that Ryu with this Ryu. Then we have the SH Figure Arts Ryu. As you can see, they are right around the same height. Like they're they're very, very close. Very, very close. Then we have the Storm Collectibles Street Fighter 5 Ryu and the Storm Collectibles Evil Ryu. I went with that one because I didn't buy the actual um what is it? Uh Ultra Street Fighter version, but it's the same body. So as you guys can see. Then we have the Marvel Legends Cyclops and the Marvel Legends Captain America. As we can see here, scale's pretty good with that. So, you know, for all you people out there contemplating, will these will this Jada Ryu work for Marvel vs. Capcom? It looks like it. I mean, I know I could probably make it work. And then lastly, we have the Marvel Legends Rogue here on the left and the Medicom Mafex Psylocke on the right just to see how that scales with them. All right, so final thoughts on the Jaded Toy Street Fighter Ryu. I really dig this thing. I like it. It moves nice. The joints are nice and good. We've got the soft gi here that's, that doesn't prohibit articulation. Um, yeah, the texturing is cool. The likeness is stellar. I really like the likeness on this figure. It came out really good. It really like uh, invokes the, you know, the aura of Street Fighter, to me at least. You get a lot. For what you're paying for you get two head sculpts here two sets of hands and a stand with a, a nice nice effect piece here as i mentioned before with fei long toe hinges i would have liked that but that's not a deal breaker the palm's not touching for the haruken that is a, a small nitpick there but it's not the end of the world for me I, I can make it work you know there's a lot of other figures that cannot do that so there's that but overall i'm definitely excited for wave two with dalsim and bison and ken can't wait for those to come out i know chun li should be right around the corner so everybody hold tight for that thanks for watching feel free to hit the thumbs up share with your friends let them know uh check out the podcast chat me goes assemble on tuesdays at 5 15 p.m pacific standard time and They're Not Dolls on Thursday nights at 8.15 Pacific Standard Time. As always, take it easy, guys.